Okay, after all that hard work, this might have been the final repair to get this thing going. And what I'm referring to is JB Weld. I went a little crazy with it, and some of it dripped down into that piston um, area. And so I had to get the JB weld out for the piston to cycle because it had jammed it. And all I did, I learned this from thanks to YouTube, you can heat JB weld up with a torch, propane torch, and disintegrates. That's basically what I did. I disintegrated it in there where it dripped down and solidified. And, uh, sorry, not ready to sneeze. And, uh, got the piss in the cycle again so what I want to do is show you that it's still hot from the from the uh, propane that uh the sound is a sprinkler in the background going so anyway it's kind of a hot late summer day here it's a I think it's a well it's the end of August we'll put it that way 2014 it's actually, yeah, August 25th. Okay. So, principle of the thing, this is a Super Sterling, sold to me by Hyporex or Hypor Ox out of uh, Canada and Pakistan. But they're a nice little eBay seller. Go back to my original videos if you want the link. It'll be in the description. But they sent it to me, and what I think happened was the customs uh, inspected it and didn't repack it properly. And this broke here, this aluminum, I won't call it a pylon or the stanchion or whatever, it snapped. And so I went through trying HTS 2000 and my other videos, it didn't do it so well. I think because the aluminum was such a heat sink, the propane torch was kind of whimsy convenient but but uh flimsy you're not flimsy not flimsy not whimsy but uh weak kind of weak so it didn't do its job or maybe i'm just blobbing on like i don't really know what's going on so anyway so i went with jb weld one of my well actually my boss at work suggested that he was a mechanic he said yeah that fixes a lot of stuff so anyway that's what I use, and you know what? I'm actually seeing a stress fracture right there. That's not good. My thumb is. It might, it might not work. It might come apart. I don't like that. So if that's the case, then yeah, it's not going to work. I will have to take it to a real welding shop after all. So let me see if I can cycle this. I've got to hold this steady with my feet. And then cycle the action here. There you go. So that's how it works. Except down here, that's where your heat source goes. It heats up the uh, the air trapped in there. It pushes the piston up here. That cycles, which sends this piston down to compress and somehow cycle air back in, cooler air, and then the, the whole cycle repeats itself. It's called a Stirling engine. So, yep. So, I'm kind of force cycling it. And that suck sound you, you hear is probably the air escaping into it. So, it relieves the pressure. But anyway, I'm seeing a little stress factor right there in the 
in the uh, JB Weld. So it probably is not going to work over a long period of time. I wonder. It's the other thing about. I wonder if I should put more JB Weld on it. <laughs> they get really JB. Just a JB uh, Weld. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> hood ornament or something anyway i'm a little giddy i got school starting tomorrow university i'm pretty aggravated because now i won't have any time hardly to work on things like this yeah. so what i need to do is apply some heat down there and get this thing to cycle but this thing is such a bigger it's a bigger uh sterling than than I'm used to. I need to put it on a proper base before I start it up because this thing is bound to have some torque and rattle and things like that. So I'm going to have to rig up a base. Uh, hopefully that little stress fracture doesn't get any bigger. But it probably will. That's what they do. And then it, then it will uh, break and then we'll be screwed. So, anyway, that's the progress of the, the, the Super Sterling. You may ask, well, why didn't I send it back to Afghanistan if it was broken? Well, I wanted to see if I repair it myself. That's part of the fun, part of the aggravation. Why well, have something you can't fix, you know? Plus, it'd probably get lost in the mail or something, so... I think they only had one to sell, and I think I got it, so... I'm sure they'll get more common as they get more popularized, but... This is a pretty good deal. And I think it's a, pretty much a copy of the, uh... The British Kaiko, or Kiko... Uh... Hot Air Fan. You can look that up if you haven't already. I've seen a, a larger version. That was uh, an antique. It looked pretty much like this, but it was a huge. It looked like a nine foot high with a pestle fan. I think this was the main driver of it. Um, this is just a copy in Pakistan. Um, I could say just a copy. I can't copy it. That takes a lot of. It's all hand done, pretty much. It's all hand done work. So you know, probably done in a machine shop or something. And, um, pretty advanced. I put a, it's beyond my skill level at this point, but, um, put some more, uh, JB Weld on certain points that might need a little strengthening, and, uh, that's where all that mess is, so, I don't know what I want to do next here, either build a base, or just get ready for school and put this project on hold, or what, um, it's not a very, very popular series of videos, you know, you see all these free energy videos and crap and they're garbage here on YouTube. But uh, when I speak of free energy, I mean it doesn't cost any money to make it. It's not free like it comes out of the atomic netherworld or something. Um, this means free as in it doesn't cost me anything or it's so cheap that... Um, that it's it's way better than conventional sources. So anyway, that's what I mean by free energy. I can use a. I've seen a rocket stove. Uh, propel one of these. So um, you did a rocket stove with just uh, sticks and twigs, things like that. So anyway, um, this video is almost up. I got 10 minute limit. So. Anyway, here's an overview real quick. Hopefully you get, hopefully you get a little more uh, viewage of it and whatnot. And uh, let's see how that goes. Okay, this is the Military Industrial Museum. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you probably won't, so I won't even ask you. <laughs> All right, take care. Enjoy your day. Try to do something productive to advance the uh, species, all right?